गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास सिक्स सो ऑन सेवेंटीन आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू दिस लेसन वी वर डूइंग दिस लेसन एपेटोम ऑफ करेज एंड आई हैव सेंट यू द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स एज वेल एज द वर्ड मीनिंग्स ऑफ दिस लेसन ऑन सेवनटीन वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड दिस वी स्टार्टेड एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू वी वर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्सरसाइज वी वर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एक्सरसाइज एंड आई टोल्ड यू टू ट्राई इट योर सेल्फ on 18th i told you i have gave you homework on 18th but as we were on duty in the villages you were visiting uh, your houses to just see whether your work is complete or not complete so we all teachers were on duty so that's why we couldn't send the video earlier tomorrow also we have to today also we have to go to visit villages but still i found some time to send a video for you because we are lagging behind our syllabus is too uh, it's lagging too much behind and uh, i have to finish it as early as possible because in english only we are lagging behind in all other subjects you people have almost finished your syllabus so now we come to this exercise this was language skills look at the following sentences the disease work its way in stephen's body here worked its way means it's an idiomatic phrase and it means spread deeper the word work can be used with other words for different meanings so here it is used as its way and it becomes a idiomatic phrase so likewise they have given some uh, they have used this phrase work in many sentences and it has a different meaning here so we have to find out that which work means what and here is an help box we have to choose the exact meaning for the word used here in the first sentence do you think your idea will work here the work means can function here do you think your idea will function means here it means can function your plan will not work in with me mine means your work uh, your plan will not fit in the cost of this bridge worked out to be 50 crores means amounts to here it means amounts to she got the nobel prize because she worked very hard for peace means he tr uh, tried to achieve here worked for means try to achieve time works many changes means here it means accomplish he has been working away without rest ever since means he has been continuing without ever rest so here the word work has different meanings and i have explained to you and all of you please complete your work and keep revising your work so this lesson is coming in your pt2 so complete all your work till this chapter then come to the next page number 58 word bar the word given below need just one letter e so fit in e's e's wherever necessary you will find many of them in the lesson legend like here they have added two e's here and it has become legend here we have made movement two e's again two e's here one e is their lesson so in the next this is teenage double e add kar diya humne ha it is equal e q u a l and this is presence here also we have put three e's in this so now fill in the blanks with the opposite of the words success at last came to him after many a uh, failures success ka antonym failures he his dash to the post was soon followed by his dismissal approval dismissal dismiss karna kisi ko और अप्रूव करना किसी की बात पे हामी भरना पीस हैज इट्स विक्ट्री एंड पीस का ऑपोजिट हुआ वॉयलेंस हैज इट्स डिफीट लाइफ हैज इट्स अप्स एंड डाउन्स ही स्टूड बाय मी इन मेनी जॉयज एंड सॉरोज सो ऑल दीज आर दी एंटोनिम्स वी कॉल ऑपोजिट्स एज एंटोनिम्स इज इट क्लियर टू ऑल ऑफ यू so keep doing your work as i am sending it because we already have a very less time and we are lagging behind in syllabus so we'll have to be a bit fast and you people have to be have to work faster 
because we have to complete syllabus by the end of December. Now in this, this is a um, telephonic conversation between David and Smith. So I have, um, uh, we have done two messages. We have done, isn't it? So here also there is a telephonic conversation and you have to write a, leave a message for it. So here, David, hello, can I speak to Dr. Hawking? Smith, sorry, Dr. Hawking is not at home and I am his assistant. Can I take a message? David, well, please tell him to reach the NASA Center at 10 a.m. tomorrow as there is a meeting with some space scientists. Also request him to bring the CD containing the details of his research experiments. Smith, sure, sir, I'll give you a message. David, thank you. So as David has to attend his son's birthday, he leaves his message for Dr. Hawkins. So you have to write a message in not more than 50 words. So now you will do this in your notebooks. This this you have to do in your notebooks. You have to notebooks in your notebooks. You have to write an example. Do this work in a notebook. You will make a... Yes, and you will make a box like this. Make a box. Box bana ke aap me yaha pe likhna hai message. Thik hai? Now you will write date and time. Here we have to write the I told you to write the date. So you can write any date. Suppose we are writing 26 September 2020. Okay. Now here you will address him like this Dr. Hawking because Smith is his assistant so he he will obviously he will call him like this only Dr. Hawkins Smith called um, you to reach uh, NASA Smith has called you you will start writing like um, Smith called to give you the message to give you the message that you have to reach the NASA center at 10 a.m. tomorrow for a meeting with some space scientists. Don't forget to bring the CD containing the details of his research experiment. So, like this you have to leave the message. Niche, aapne apna naam likhna hai, Smith. So, you have to write all this in a box. You have to make a box and in that you have to write, leave the message. Is it clear? So, all of you write down in your notebooks. Apne notebooks mein se likh lije. It is on the page number page 58
so you have all of you have to do this in your notebook so write down date dr hawkins smith called to give you the message that you have to visit the nasa center at 10 am tomorrow for a meeting with space scientists and don't forget to bring the cd containing the details of his research equipment experiments smith that's it do this you have to do this in your notebooks write down immediately so with this we come to this part the last one so now we come for this this is the uh, just for fun this part is left and now we are going to finish this just for fun fill in the blanks with the reversible words to make good sense so like uh, just see here these are reversible emit emit t i m e time so these are called as reversible words evil evil l i v e live mad mad cut reverse ho gaya dam smart t r a m s trams edit and tide so all these are the reversible words and we have to use in these sentences the first one is done for you the beaver got mad at animals that disturbed his dam you should be smart in kolkata to travel by trams after mad tries i finally served the ball over the dam this is not true that evil people live longer can you edit my paper about how the tide is affected by the moon and the last one uranium can emit a lot of radiation over a long period of time so with this we finish the book exercise of the lesson number epitome of courage again and again i am telling you to revise all your work and complete your notebooks because um, in the coming days we are going to visit your homes again and going to check your notebooks so again i am telling you to finish your work till this lesson because in pt2 all these lessons are going to come from unit 2 lesson number 1 2 3 4 unit 3 1 2 3 so you will be have uh, have to learn you will be having seven lessons in your pt2 so complete these notebooks up till here next week we are going to come to your homes and going to check your notebooks so it's better you people complete all the work which i have made you done in your notebooks complete the grammar work also and whatever writing skills i have made you do and you have to complete you are supposed to do finish your notebooks by the time i come to your home and check your notebooks i want your work to be finished is it clear to all of you class 6 so any time we can come and check your notebooks so today i'm going to start with this poem the crutches so with this we'll finish our unit 3 also but this will not come in pt2 your syllabus is only this much which i have tick marked this we are doing because we have to move forward fast as we are lagging behind okay so now we are going to start with the poem <laughs> 